Okay, everyone, it's July. Can you believe it? I I can't believe that we're in July. I am so excited for summer and all the things that we can do outside and go places. So if you guys have any trails for biking or walks or anything, let me know because we would love to check them out this summer. Today, we have some special treats for you. Um, Alexa Penner is gonna do a special thing in a minute. And we have Pastor Holly joining us a little bit later. Um, and she's gonna update us on our missionaries. And so I'm super excited for today's service. Okay, so Alexa is in competitive skipping and she is really good, like really good. So cool. So let's go check out what she did. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I can't even imagine trying that. I mean, when I was younger, maybe I could try it, but I'm pretty sure I would break an ankle. What about you, Kelsey? I'm pretty sure you'd break an ankle too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's probably guaranteed. Yeah. I used to do skipping when I was younger, but I don't think I was ever that good. So I, I, I don't know about how I, I don't know. Are you going to try it? I don't know. Maybe we'll give that one a pass. Well, yeah, maybe we'll yeah. pass on that one. <laughs> So we're also having Pastor Holly join us. So let's. She's going to share a little bit about a little bit about um, what's going on in the world of missions today. So let's go check out what's going on there. Hey kids, um, I'm Holly. I'm the missions pastor and young adults pastor here at Chilliwack Alliance. I just got to tell you that I miss seeing you guys around here. Um, you guys bring a life and and joy and a spirit to this place that 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 I sure do miss. And so just know that there's another person here thinking of you guys and looking forward to the time when we're all back together. So this week um, for your kids full service, I was asked to present a little bit to you um, of some things that are going on in our missions projects and with our friends who are all around the world and to give you some things to pray, to be able to pray about. And what I love about prayer is that sometimes um, there are people who just can't pray, and sometimes it's because they don't know Jesus, and sometimes it's because um, they just have so many things that are going on in their life that they forget. And for some people, uh, they're just so overwhelmed by some of the things that are in their life that are really negative and hard, and it's just, it's hard to pray. But many of our friends, i got to tell you this, that many of our friends, all of our friends actually, that we're in partnership with overseas are praying people. And so this is also one way, as much as it is um, praying for and talking to God on behalf of other people when they can't or don't know God, um, we can come alongside and we can pray and encourage and want the same things and need God to, to work in the same ways um, that our friends are asking for. And to me, that's what partnership is all about. And that's what we get to invest in with our friends who are working overseas and even in Canada. So here are some things that are going on. I know for sure that last month you guys had a chance to hear from Don and Betty who are serving the Yazidi people in the northern Iraq area of the world. And um, and you got to see a video that they put together, and that was awesome. Um, but one of the big things that they're needing prayer for is their language learning. They've, they've got to learn a couple different languages between the two of them. And language learning is hard, especially as you get older. It's just, it's harder to, to make some of those connections. So pray for them as they learn both Arabic and Kurdish, which is the, the national language. And pray for Betty, too, because she is doing an awesome job in, in, in the way of meeting with some ladies and, and helping to host a Kurdish Bible study. And part of that is so that she can learn the language, but part of that is also she's helping to develop people to know and love God um, in a place where very, very few actually do. So that's Don and Betty. Um, our friends in Mexico, Heather and Arturo, and our, another guy named Manuel, they're um, kind of helping the local pastors feed the needy people who are unable to work. So there's a lot of families who, who live in the San Quentin area of Mexico who can't work right now and so they don't have food for their kids and it's hard for them to get clothes and so those three are working really hard at helping pastors help the people in their community so we can be praying for them as well. Um, our friends in Quebec, um, they don't have a senior pastor so you know how we have like Leon, Pastor Leon and Pastor Matt, um, they don't have a pastor like that and so they're um, they're having to try to figure out this without without a leader and so we need to be praying that they'll get a good strong leader who loves their church who will help them to grow and know God more and um, and grow in their community um, to be a good church in their town and then finally in Peru there's some cool things going on in Peru um, last year 
our friends had helped develop um, 19 brand new Sunday schools and over the course of the whole year for all of the kids events including Sunday school and Bible camps they got to share the gospel with over 1,000 kids and youth so that's a lot of people and and also developing these um, 19 new Sunday school classes um, and programs in villages way high up in the mountains and these villages up until a few years ago didn't have any Christians they didn't have any churches and so this is all because our friends um, are making their way up to these communities and telling them about Jesus and then developing leaders and pastors who will help teach them so let's be praying for our friends who are doing those kinds of things um, pray for their travel and pray for these new communities that are just learning more about God and Pray that they'll grow and grow, and for these kids and their families, that they'll grow and learn to live what it means to be a Christian, um, because we know that that's important. And so kids, I know this has been a little bit of a lot of information, but there's a lot of things to be praying for, and your guys' prayers are incredibly powerful, and this is one way that we can be involved in missions in the world. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for sharing, Holly. It's really great to hear what's going on in the world of missions right now, and you're asking for I love that as a church, we can still support um, different missionaries at this time, even though it just feels really crazy and that we can see how God is still working. Yeah. Like, it's so cool. Um, so today, Pastor and Anna and I wanted to share something that we've been talking about recently, and that is what we can learn about the song, from the song, The Blessing. And we've been seeing a lot of different versions um, from people coming around the world singing it together, which we think is just so cool and so beautiful. And the one that we really liked was the kids' version, not biased. And we wanted to share that with you today. So as you watch this video, we want you to make that your prayer today. So let's go check that out.
last couple of months, but months, but when it's time to go for worship, we're asking you to um, think about the songs that you're singing. There's questions like, why am I singing this song? What is this song about? And we're doing that intentionally. Do you guys know what intentionally means? No. That's a really big word. Mm -hmm. So intentionally means it's done on purpose. So we're not just asking you these questions because we feel like it would be fun. We're asking them purposefully so that you can really think about what God's trying to tell you or maybe something that you could learn through it. Um, it's really important that we mean to worship God. And so with that, I wanted to talk about some verses from the Bible that inspired the main verse of this song. So let's, let's talk about this. So may his favor be upon you in a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children. So I'm going to read from Deuteronomy uh, 7 verse 9. Understand, therefore, that the Lord your God is indeed God. He is the faithful God who keeps his covenant for a thousand generations and lavishes his unfailing love on those who love him and obey his commands. What an amazing God. So to keep it really simple, covenant is another word for a formal promise, one that you don't break. What God is saying is this, in this verse is if we love him and obey him, then he is going to be faithful not only to us, but to our children and to their children. And when we talk about God's faithfulness, we're talking about his ability to be loyal and consistent and to stay true to the things he says that he's going to do. And he does. And his faithfulness is just so much greater than we could ever ask for. And so we're singing about the blessing because it's an amazing, powerful God that keeps his promise for a long time. So to break this down for you, Google says, Google says, one generation means 30 years. Now, that's a really long time. Maybe not a really long time. I wouldn't know. No. <laughs> you guys should ask your parents how long 30 years is. So if we love and obey him, he will keep his side of the promise for a thousand generations. That's 30,000 years just for you. That's a really, really long time crazy long. So if we move on to the other verse, it sings, may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you. In the morning, in the evening, in your coming, in your going, in your weeping and rejoicing, he is for you. He is for you. These verses I just found so beautiful and so comforting. Like it felt almost like a warm hug. Um, it mentions the idea that God is everywhere and with us. And do you guys know how God is with us? Through the Holy Spirit. And God says that the Holy Spirit lives inside of our hearts. And this may sound pretty confusing, but I found some answers in the book of Galatians from the Bible. So Galatians 3.26 says, For you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. So if we believe in Jesus, we are his children. And then later on in Galatians it says, And because we are his children, God sent his spirit sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, prompting us to call out Abba, Father. So you see the Holy Spirit is with us. The Bible says God is for us. Who can be against us? And that's found in so many places in the Bible. It's so cool. So if this balloon, this one, is you and me, and there's a little problem that's in our life, and say the problem is this fire, and we come up against the problem, and we're all by ourselves. What's gonna happen? We'll find out. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> it was a <sighs> That wasn't good, right? Nope. So a little thing, like she only held that on there for like a second, and not even very close to it. No. Um, it can have a big impact. But let's take this other balloon that has water in it. So the balloon, remember, is that's right, you and me. And the water is the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is inside us. And so when we go up against the flame with the water inside us, oh, oh no, oops, that yes. wasn't supposed to happen. No, it didn't work. Oh, That's well. okay. We, we know sometimes our experiments don't work out. Yeah. Definitely. But hopefully you guys get the point. <laughs> so the Holy Spirit is with us. And we might go through trying times or times that we're having fun and being able to celebrate, like the song says, 
the Holy Spirit is still with us mm -hmm. and protects us. And it doesn't change regardless of the day or what we're doing or where we are or how close we get to the fire. I think the takeaway though here for us is just to be more aware of the idea that God's presence, including the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. is everywhere, including within us, and regardless of the time or day. God is there for us. We have one last verse to read for you, and that's Romans 8, 38 to 39. And I am convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love, not death nor life, life, angels or demons, neither our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below, indeed nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord God. So good. So we wanted to offer you an opportunity to ask Jesus into your heart for you to be a part of his family and these past few months we've been learning all about God's family and today maybe something new stood out to you and or maybe you thought wow Jesus really loves me and he teaches me this in a lot of different ways or so if you feel ready to have that relationship with Jesus then we wanted to provide that opportunity. Or maybe you thought today, Jesus, I am so thankful for the relationship I get to have with you, but I learned that I, I need to ask you for some forgiveness for some things. Um, then we also wanted to um, provide an opportunity for that as well. So if you pray this prayer, be it the whole thing or maybe part of it, um, we would love to hear, um, or for you to tell somebody, like your parents that you know would love to hear. Make sure you tell us. And make sure you tell us. We want to know. We really do want to know. So let's pray. Yeah. So Jesus, we love you so much. And thank you for all the blessings you faithfully offer to us um, as we have a relationship with you. As we learned about the blessings you offer today, um, we wanted to say thank you that you sent your son to die on the cross for our sins. We believe that you did the things you say you did. And we ask for you to help us live a life where you live in our hearts and guide us each and every day. We want a relationship with you, Lord. And God, some may want to ask for forgiveness right now. So if they are asking for forgiveness, um, Lord, I pray for them to fill in the following sentence in their hearts and minds. Lord, I need to be forgiven for. Lord, we love you and we leave all of this in your very, very capable hands. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been mm -hmm. so great to be here with you in person. So nice. nice. Um, we miss you all. We can't wait to see you again. Um, we'll see you again next week as we start our new series called Fear Busters. Ooh. You don't want to miss it. Um, we're going to go to our Dropbox account now. Kelsey made a um, small group lesson for you guys based off of the Blessing song. So go have fun as a family um, completing the activities there. Mm -hmm. And that's all we've got for you today. So it was great seeing you all and we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye.